Hello guys and welcome to another log of Wolfmon Dim and for today's log I think this Digimon is called Bill Wolfmon <laughs> My daughter decided to crash the log by making some sounds <laughs> Alright, um, let's check out his name I can't remember his name I mean I know the Japanese name is Bill Wolfmon or I'm probably butchering the name even I'm not sure if Duck they changed the name once again I think Wolfmon, they didn't like it. They changed it to Lobomon, so I don't know whether this becomes like Boo Lobomon. Alright, they kept it as Bio Wolfmon. So, for this case. Okay. Alright, and so, for strangely, for Wolfmon, they changed the name to Lobomon. But for. <laughs> but for Bio Wolfmon, they kept it as Bio Wolfmon. So, no idea why. Sh hey, go! Can you sit at the back? Yeah. Okay. But not too near to the TV, all right? Okay. Sorry, back <laughs> to the log. So it's Bio Wolfmon, and um, yes. But before we continue today's log, just have to say if you're a fan of Digimon or raising virtual pets, you've come to the right channel because this channel focuses on raising Digimon. And I upload at least twice a week. So if you like such content, go ahead and slash the like and subscribe button with Bio Wolfmon's swords and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads. Alright, Bio Wolfmon is actually the hybrid spirit of Lobomon and Kendo Garurumon. So Kendo Garurumon is a beast mode, beast spirit of light, and Lobomon is a human spirit of light. Bio Wolfmon is the hybrid spirit. So, a Digimon whose power over light exceeds that of legend due to the unknown powers it obtained by fully inheriting the might of the 10 legendary warriors. Bro Wolfman possesses both the instincts of a beast and the intelligence of a human. A warrior of exceptional strength, it easily wields his twin bladed great sword. I have no idea how to go pronounce that, I'm just gonna give it a shot and probably butchering it. The twin bladed great sword, Trinitat. <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> Alright, so it's a twin bladed, but he wields it with one hand. In battle, it always remains thoughtful and composed. Very cool. Although, as a warrior, it believes in the virtues of fighting for his friends and facing off against greater foes. Thanks to the long distance missile pod on his left arm, the Roland 2 Zui it excels at both long range and close range combat. A special move. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, so <laughs> Li Kian Grief involves performing a combination of powerful attacks using its firearms. First, it fire or fires off the homing missiles from Roland 2, then it finishes off its foes with its main cannon. That's cool. It also has a special move, Zweander, which incidentally, I think that is the name of the sword of one of my favorite series, Final Fantasy VII. I think Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core, um, What's their character again? Zack wields a Zui Hander if I'm not mistaken. I I might be mistaken, but I think that's the name of the sword, which I'm suddenly reminded of because I have pre-registered for Ever Crisis. It's a mobile game that's coming up. And they <laughs> reach uh, new levels of pre-registration and they're giving away a Zui Hander, I think. Uh, but I'm definitely butchering the name anyway. And Attack, where it swings the great sword down at practically the speed of light to cleave through foes. All right, that's cool. Very, very formidable and strong. That's... <laughs> okay. Suddenly just declare that she's sleeping. Anyway, let's see it in action on the bracelet. See you on the bracelet. Bio Wolfmon. All right, and he's on the bracelet. Bo Wolfmon is walking, he's walking, very cool. Let's see, um, snapping animation. Oh, we probably need to see the training, I think it's limited. Oh man, I forgot. We probably have to simulate the dash animation again. Ah, uh, that's an irritating thing. All right, uh, let's get there, it's all right. Let's see, dash animation. Oh, 
it's here okay so it's tomorrow that i need to reset the training again anyway there we go oh yeah just shake it a little bit to complete the training and can you see this is him dashing that's cool this is dash animation then capture sleeping animation again i better do it properly later got a bit distracted okay this is his dashing animation i think it's really good i think once again uh the digimon frontier series they have done a great job as well i think the animation quality sprite animation quality is um comparable to the be memory generation uh at a slight uh, uh, a definitely improvement from the usual vital bracelet series um, sprites that were highly criticized especially the tamer gacha ones all right that's him sleeping with his sword buried in the ground um i think the difference between the older series and the be memory series are the eyes like check out this is really well defined in terms of every part of the sprite but you can see the eye it's just like just like that red dot there which is good enough don't get me wrong but be memory goes one step further i think it's just like some part of that even that eye part they will have the additional depth that makes it even more detailed you know um but this is good this is good don't, make, don't get me wrong look at the, the blades like the blades are like slightly shiny you know they, they didn't just use a standard gold uh color to sprite to for that sprite part of it they use different texture of that yellow and gold to create that very textured look i really appreciate that anyway we still have one more training to go to capture and then we can do the battle animation um squats see him doing squats whoa he's cleaving that punching bag i don't know if it's called punching bag i might be getting it wrong um i think punching bag is supposed to be like hanging from um the the, the 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 top anyway but this is just a punching bar i don't know what it's called but yeah it's cleaving it into two intense man intense both mon what's with that intensity all right let's see the battle animation let's simulate a battle all right he's up against splash mon i'm not sure about his activity i'm not sure how he will how long does it take to activate his ultimate attack but let's see all right first round he missed nice so splash mon is going to hit him uh, it's ultimate against champion <gasps> there we go nice boom and it's homing missiles that just shot oh i forgot splash mon is not champion he's ultimate as well so there's an ultimate against ultimate all right and he won good job there on Bowwolfmon, you did it and we captured exactly what we needed so that concludes this log for Bowwolfmon and if you haven't already please go ahead and cleave the like and subscribe button with the great sword from Bowwolfmon and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my uploads thank you for watching and see you in the next video bye bye